Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, is a behavior disorder that originates during deep sleep and results in walking or performing other complex behaviors while still mostly asleep. More common in children than adults, sleepwalking is usually outgrown by the teen years. Isolated incidents of sleepwalking often don't signal any serious problems or require treatment. However, recurrent sleepwalking may suggest an underlying sleep disorder. Sleepwalking occurs more often among children than adults. One long-term study found that 29% of children from around 2 to 13 years old experienced sleepwalking with a peak in incidence between ages 10 and 13. In adults, the prevalence is estimated to be up to 4%. Sleepwalking usually occurs early in the night, often 1 to 2 hours after falling asleep. It's unlikely to occur during naps. A sleepwalking episode can occur rarely or often, and an episode generally lasts several minutes, but can last longer. Not all sleepwalkers actually walk. Some sit up or stand in bed or act like they're awake when, in fact, they're asleep. But most do get up and move around for a few seconds or for as long as half an hour. Sleepwalkers' eyes are open, but they don't see the same way they do when they're awake. They'll often think they're in different rooms of the house or different places altogether. Sleepwalkers tend to go back to bed on their own and they won't remember what happened in the morning. It is important to recognize that, despite the name, sleepwalking is not limited to walking. Other types of actions can occur. For example, sometimes a person who is sleepwalking will do routine activities, such as getting dressed, talking or eating, leave the house, drive a car, engage in sexual activity without awareness. During an episode, a person may get injured, for example, by falling down the stairs or jumping out a window. Sleepwalking is classified as parasomnia, an undesirable behavior or experience during sleep. In fact, parasomnia straddles the border between sleep and wakefulness, which is why the actions that occur during parasomnia episodes are abnormal. Sleepwalking itself is not necessarily a concern, but a person who sleepwalks can hurt themselves, especially if they walk near furniture or stairs, wander outdoors, drive a car, or eat something inappropriate during a sleepwalking episode. Injury can occur if a person trips and falls or collides with something while walking or running. Mishandling sharp objects or trying to drive a car during an episode can be life-threatening. Treatment for sleepwalking depends on the patient's age, how frequently it occurs, and how dangerous or disruptive the episodes are. For children and adults, it is best to raise concerns about sleepwalking with a doctor who can work to find the most probable cause and create a tailored treatment plan. In many cases, sleepwalking requires no active treatment because episodes are rare and pose minor risk to the sleeper or those around them. Episodes often get less frequent with age, so for some people, sleepwalking is resolved on its own with any specific therapy.